I feel like OG is going to have a pretty good uh, side lanes. Uh, they should have some advantage in the side lanes and have a, a pretty good mid lane as well. So they should be fine. I, don't, I, I think they just need to be careful for this couple of uh, waves and then make sure they heal back up with the tangles. They should be fine. And bot lane, look at Yuragi. He's getting dove under the tower. And that's a big kill. Oh, yeah, the Ambus, he's having a pretty phenomenal time. His net worth is not the greatest, but he also hasn't fallen just yet. They're going to go in on Poshka, and the Enchantress will die to DM. Yatro cannot harm the DK. And the Tiny, even though he only has level 1 tree grab, it still does significant damage. Bottom lane, Collapse walking in. He does roar up Yuragi. That's the target that they're going to go for, even though Chu is so incredibly low and can drop in a second. Yuragi is going to get blasted by the Hellbear Smasher. Can he get out of there? No, he cannot. One kill for Collapse. And honestly, they need to be a bit careful that he does oh, not he get more. he might get through here. Axe is soft cooldown. Got the range creep as well. And the Ooh, Axis. nice, man. Collapse is a beast. Even kept the ancient Black Dragon alive so he could uh, scoop it I up mean, towards this, mid. Got this... onto Laurel. This is a pretty big one and they blow him up very quickly. Tiger dies in response towards bottom, but uh, the Laurel tiny kill is way more important because he was so very close to that Blink Dagger as yeah. well. Very big kill there for sure. Like he's stopping the Blink Dagger timing. Oh, yeah. And Collapse is here. The true carry. Can he get a roll? Gem's got Blink, but it gets interrupted by the Shadow Poison spam. But he gets... He can blink if he wants to. It's too fast, man. Oh, they scan it, but it's, it's, it's already way gone. Too fa it's way too fast, man. Maybe Beastmaster and the Helm. A Shadow Demon is also a pretty strong hero, you know? <laughs> and Draining Rock, she do a lot of damage with the poison. Oh, they're smoked up. Mira's gonna be the target oh, getting SD. jumped here. And Mira is gonna get the disruption off on himself. Stays alive for the time being. Lar was a lot of damage coming through. Chu is gonna be the first one down and they will get Mira as well. So one for one trade. Well, uh, net worth wise, they're pretty even Stevens and looking for a catch here. Laurel's got the blink, gets the Avatos onto two. The roar comes out onto DM, quickly gets a double kill. And Maposhka is the one that gets both of them because you know, God Enchantress in the game. So no shenanigans coming in and they're gonna need to defend because it's dropping uh, very quickly. I mean the tower's down man, it's too late. Oh, going in the on Sniper's to... not here. Sniper needs to be here. Oh, well, finally Yuragi's there, but he gets tossed oh, no. back. Oh, the silence as well. Yuragi gonna get out of there. Is there a save? There's none available. DM's gonna be the char next one charge. Zip in, does a lot of damage. Maposka is dead, but they find a two for one trade, and it's two cores just for the Ench 5. I mean, OG totally disrespected uh, them, you know. They didn't feel like they had enough damage, you know. But oh, Laurel again. another toss back. Oh, Tiger. no. Taiga. Leap gets himself out of there just barely. But no, he will still be found out by Collapse in the end. That's just going to be a set of racks here at 20 minutes in the game. Yeah, this Beastmaster draw is just too strong at this point of the game, you know. OG is definitely... This Dragonlance Butterfly. Butterfly. Yeah, Laurel has a haste. He has a haste right now. That could be very, very crucial in this fight, you know, if they can get, a, again, a good toss back. Ideally on the sniper. Uh, do they have uh, the Hawk coming in? Yeah, they're going to have uh, the vision advantage here. I, I feel like OG shouldn't run up this high ground here. They have a DD. Oh, DD. Oh, and no, Yuragi that's a bait. Toss back in trouble. Roared up. Yuragi's dropping low. And Laurel with that haste room charging for more. DM is just going to get slowed with the demonic purge. Nothing the DK can do except be distraction oh, so that no. no one else falls. They even they waited to give the bottle there to the sniper. And that just cost them both. But then shouldn't he buy BKB and just. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. To... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try to deal with like the toss. Oh, not I feel like, uh, under vision oh, no, again. Oh, again. All the oh, heart no. just spots him out. Another one secured. Lol charging for more. Can they get out of there? Is the big question. Marana ulti was used. But they just every single time get a glimpse of their opponents. Toss a play. They walk underneath this sentry that was still lying in wait in that area. Chu pops his ulti because he's trying to get anything done. Roar onto DM. The beacon is going to get blown up. Double buyback coming out from OG. They have the triple as well. But can they make oh, look at the damage. Work? Mira oh is just walking God. away. Zip comes through from BZM. He's out of mana on the storm. Avatar's play comes through. And there's Maposhka with the impetus damage on top. Boom! They take a smackdown. Yatro going for DM. Nope. 
chance against Jack. Another buyback. Storm is buying back as well. Zipping back in. BZM. Can he get the damage collapse? Finally falls. They're going to go for Yatro, but there is Laurel as well. Doesn't have any spells at the ready. Yatro, will they find the Mirana? Yes, they do. BZM's the last one standing. Even the Ancient Thunder High clap Man. is there. And those cheeks got clapped completely. Absolutely. <laughs>